Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my intro for my game vids channel. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what it is. Um, as you can see, it like comes out. And I'm not going to show you how I did like the swirly and all that stuff, but you can figure it out yourself. But I'm going to show you a really clean way because I am redoing this intro because that's kind of, you know, how it swerves in like that. It's kind of dumb. Um, so I did correct it. And I'm going to show you. But uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new thing, new, and uh, we're going to make it really white. Uh, the whole white completely and uh, if you want to know how to do that I'm not going to tell you um, you can you know it's, it's really simple but I already have a tutorial on my channel so just check that tutorial out um, if you can't understand of how I'm doing it right now and uh, just check out the, tutor the tutorial such a hard word to say tutorial and it'll, uh, it'll help you guys out so we're going to just position in the middle and then we're going to start editing, uh, throwing in our text so text object um, I'm going to do uh, a line in the middle, and then I'm going to do the letters G and V, so uh, G, and then uh, Control C, Control V, and uh, just do V, oops, not that, and then just do V, and then if uh, you rendered out, as you can see, we got really nothing, can't really see anything, so we're going to start working on the G. Um, make the depth of it uh, to whatever you want, but I put 80, because I, I like it 80, uh, 80, um, I'm not sure what it is, but I like it the thickness of 80. Um, and then the font I used for my intro is XIROD, which is uh, the um, optic font. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other one. Um, an easier way to do it is actually just show you is I uh, just make it how you want it. And then um, we're actually going to raise it up a little bit, I believe. I'm going to go like 100. 100 up in the air, eh, it's a little too high, maybe 50 in the air. And, uh, you know, once you get it all done, then just uh, control C, V, copy that, change it from whatever letter it is to your other letter. And make sure it's uh, capitalized. There we go. And now, as you can see, we got the G and the V looking good. We're going to zoom in a little bit, like so. And then we're going to start adding color. So, uh, you should already know how to make materials and colors, but just double click down here, double click it. And we're going to make a, a black. We're going to turn on a reflection and put on a brightness of 10. That's just going to add a little shine and uh, make it look good. And then we're going to drag that onto both of them. As you can see here, just so you can see what's going on. And there, as you can see, um, it's blended together and uh, it looks good. They're both in the center. Um, I didn't really do much other than just center them. And uh, that's about it. Then what I did do though is I added uh, fillet caps and stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you on it, but you know you can just look at the other intro if you want. So what you want to do is uh, take the C, well, I mean take the G with it selected, and then uh, hit Control C, Control V, or you can just hold down Control and then drag it down one, and it'll copy it. But uh, I just do the Control C, Control uh, v makes my light, you know, it's just what I'm used to because that's how I do it on Photoshop and stuff. So, with the new one selected, what we're going to do is we're going to add caps to it. So, go to caps, go to cap, fill it cap on the start, fill it cap on the end. Now, you can change the steps and the radius. I'm just going to keep it one and five on both of them. Um, if you do change it, change it to the same thing, you'll make it work better. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a color to that. So, the color I chose for my intro is uh, the whole way up 100%, 100%, and then I changed it to 200 which was a nice blue um, and then I added a reflection of 10 and that's what I did so I made it a little shiny just like I made the black and then we're gonna drag that onto the actual um, the other one now if you render it out as you can see it's blue and there's no black so what you wanna do is you wanna come to the object and you wanna make the depth half um, so half of whatever the first one was since, since we made the first one 80 we're gonna make this 40 and then what we're going to do is go to coordinates and change the Z to half of whatever this is. So um, the, the G is 80. We're going to do half of that, which is 40. And then for the, uh, for the coordinate, we're going to do half, which is 20. And what that's going to do is it's going to put it in the middle. Um, I can't really show you because it will mess up the viewing. But uh, it, it puts it in the middle. Um, so now the black's on the, on the front and on the back. And you'll see that when we spin it, and it looks better. If you don't do that, like you don't have to, but your front will be, um, if you don't put it 20 in the middle, or you uh, just add a fillet caps to your text, then the back is going to be solid. It won't be like the front. So you want to make sure that you do it on both. That way, it's black and blue instead of just uh, black and blue. And then on the back, it would be all black. Um, so you want to make it 
duplicate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit, uh, we're going to select the G, we're going to hold down control and select the other G, the middle G that we added the caps to, and then hold Alt and G, and then we're going to change it from null object to G, so we know what we're working with. And now if you open this up, as you can see these are together, um, if you move them, they move together and that's what you want. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the G with the V, so we're going to select the V, Control C, V, um, change the depth from 80 to 40, change the coordinate to 20, the Z one, the bottom one on the far left, and then add on some fillet caps, and then drag on the color. Again, we just all, we did this all, so it was really simple to do it again. Um, then just uh, Control, Control, Alt, G, and now this time we're going to double click it and name it a V. Now we have our G right here, now we have our V, and if we move the V, it moves together. And then if you render it out, then, you know, it's blended together. So now what we're going to do is, like, now this is the hardest part, and I don't know if any of you that are actually good with Cinema 4D, do you know how to get it perfectly centered, like your camera or what you're looking at, the perspective? That was the hardest part for me. It, when I made my intro, it took me about half an hour trying to fix it, and then I just gave up, and I was like, eh, that's close enough. But that looks kind of center. We're going to come up to our render settings. And you should always do this first. I wish it would save. I'm not sure how to save it. But uh, come up to the output and change it to film and video. Uh, HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.97. And then um, you can save this that you're working with. But I'm not going to save it, so I don't have to do that. And then make sure you change the anti-aliasing to best. And then the filter to animation when working. But um, as you can see, if you've run this out now, since we changed it, it's different. So we got to get a different angle, maybe zoom out some more, you know, just try to center it up, make it look good as possible. Then if you've rendered it, now what I did do is uh, I added a shadow at the bottom. And how I did that was I went to Effect, Ambient, Occlusion. Now this is going to make it longer to render. Um, as you can see, if I render it out right now, um, as you can see, it's taken a while. And uh, it will take a while, you know, if you don't add that, it will take less time. But I think uh, the ambient occlusion looks a lot better. Um, you could add in a light, and you could add in uh, shadows that way. But I just think the ambient occlusion uh, shadows does it the best. And uh, we're going to see how that well. And as you can see down here, right here, it's like it's there. And I, I like that. I like that feature a lot. And that's why I do it like that. But now we're going to work after it renders out. And when you get everything situated, now we're going to work on uh, the movement. So what you want to do is go up like 60 frames, which is 2 seconds, because um, you're doing 30 frames a second, 2 seconds. And you want to make a keyframe on the G. Okay, So select your first letter, click, blah, blah. click keyframe right here. It's the little key. Just click it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag to the very to the to the zero. Okay, now we're going to just change it, and uh, depending on what side you want, if you want the G to come from your left, then you want to shift. Uh, you want to shift it like this. That way it comes in like this. So do the opposite side of whatever you're doing. Just drag it the whole way to the left. Am I doing that right? I believe I'm doing that right. Control Z. Um, just drag it the whole way. See, so it'll come in like this. If that's how you want it, it's you know it's all preference. Um, I actually want it to go this way. Do I want it to go this way? Yeah. All right, I want it to go this way. So you drag it 360, hold down Shift, it'll make it crisp. And now it did 360. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the coordinates. So uh, I'm just going to change the coordinates to uh, 200. What that's going to do is make it go 200 to the right. Um, but we want it to go off the screen. So we're going to do 500. We're going to change the height of it higher. You want it higher because then it'll come, it'll come down, and you want that. So we're going to actually make it 200 high. And then we're actually going to bring it closer to us. That way it just comes off the screen. And we're going to actually make that uh, negative 200. The negative is going to make it come towards you. And then just make a keyframe. Make sure you hit the keyframe. And as you can see, it has a little arrow. And then if you play it through, then it comes in like so. You know? And it looks really good. I think it looks really good. Now, there is a better way to do this, which I'm not going to do. But what you want to do... Is, uh, I guess I'll save that for another tutorial to make it better because a lot of people do it wrong. This is how a lot of people would make their stuff and, uh, you know, why be different, I guess. Well, you know what I mean. It's just it's more complicated the other way. But, uh, yeah, so we got the G. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the V, just completely opposite. Or That's how I like it. It's preference. Again, preference. So we're going to go to, make sure we click the V. Make sure you click uh, keyframe at 60 frames and drag it to zero. And as you can see, the G is over. So now we're going to move the, the V so we're going to go how we did the V. We're going to go like this. 360, which is a completely 
rotation. And then we're going to do the exact same. So 200 high, no, 200 left. We're actually going to go negative 500. Negative is going to make it go left. Positive is going to make it go right. Then we're going to go up 200, which is going to make it go up. Negative would make it go down. And then we're going to bring it uh, negative 200 towards us. Then we're going to hit a keyframe. And then when you play it forward, it comes in and then blends together like so. And uh, that's pretty much my intro. And then uh, I rendered it out to 90 frames, which gave it 30 seconds of just nothingness. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much my intro. And it's not much to it. It's really simple. Uh, you could do different letters. And again, uh, here, like I was saying before, if you just add a fillet cap, if you just add fillet caps to the text, like if you were just to do... Uh, if you were to just uh, add it to the, the black fillet cap, fillet cap, it'd be on the front, but it won't be on the back. And that's why you don't want to do that. You want to make them separate. That way, when it flies in, it's you know the black, blue, black, and it'll look a lot better than black, blue. Wait, yeah, it would be black, blue, and then it would be a solid blue because you want to be cutting it off. That's what it would be. It would be whatever the fillet cap would. And it would it would, it would look weird, uh, you know. Like, it, but if that's what you're going for, that's you know that's what you go for. But this is what I was going for. So this I did it. So you know, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, it's not that complicated, you know, just, and then just try to, like, guesstimate, like, maybe you made it too high, you know, go back and fix it, because as you can see right here, it's kind of cut off the map, I mean, cut off the screen, so maybe I would zoom out some, um, so it just, you know, just so it looked better, you know, it's all preference, all preference, you know, something I might like, you won't like, something you'll like, I won't like, um, some people might think this would be good right here, like, you know, and then it's, it doesn't, like, everything gets cut off pretty much, you know. Some people might be like, oh, I want it this far away, and then, actually, that would that would be pointless. But, you know, you might want it this far away, you know, and, you know, and that actually looks pretty good. Um, I think I might like that. See, see, I like that. So just make sure that it's perfect center, uh, perfect center if you want it. Again, preference. Everything is preference. You guys can mess around with everything. This is just a basic way of doing it. And uh, as you can see, the further you go out, the different colors. So again, preference. So like I said, hopefully, guys, this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, if you guys could uh, give this a thumbs up, double tap the X, uh, thumbs up button because it doesn't really work if you just hit it once. So double tap it, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and But other than that, talk to you guys later. Have a great day.